in 2010, Sakode came into the music industry. This was the era that nobody was ready for. This was the era nobody knows rap will become a big thing in the music industry. With Sakode, when he made this entry possible, everybody was already in love with him. That tells of a bigger star he's about to be. He got endorsements for almost all the rappers, either from Obrafo, Tiny, Reggie Rastone, who is the godfather of this rap team, according to Sakode himself. Kwakese, who was making waves then. Talking about Kwakese, Fausa Pim, subscribe button, no? said they were about them and liked the video. So, with his impression, how the last two got in love with, with his style of rap and got him added to his collective artists, which were Kwakese, Tiny, Sakode himself, and Eden. With Sakode around this time, he is known to be the fastest rapper in Ghana and nobody else come close. But with this, a lot of rappers get their heads up to compete. So we have the likes of Kwata Bukusu and Sikyo who are ready to challenge Sakode on who is the fastest or the real fastest in the music or the rap game. They have a lot of competition directly and indirect. Yes, though, most saw Sakode to be the fastest and most saw Sakode to have that kind of bright future than them all. So the media never drop the ball on Sakode. They hold on him and make him who wanted to be or who he wanted to be. But being the fastest rapper wasn't the only competition. There was all one competition. That was Samini. Samoni was dominating then and the impression of Sakode makes it a threat to his career according to what people see. So a beef was on Samini vs Sakode. It's normal to see them on one show, but for them to collab, it was never impossible around this time. Yes though, nobody knows what is happening between these two. Nobody can tell, but what people know is Sakode is a threat to Samini. And to me, I would say yes because uh, within that time, Samini was the one headlining every show. A show without Samini back then isn't that kind of huge show you know. But when Sakode came into the scene, now we have two big artists. And if Samini is not there, Sakode is going to make it. So with this, the anti Samini fan says Sakode, I mean Samini is jealous of Sakode. So within this banter, or beef, they both move on. A collab was impossible, as I, I, I've already said. They were making it on their own, and Sakodie is still making that big waves. So now, around somewhere in 2012, Sakodie is the biggest artist in Ghana. All beefs looks like it's over. Sakodie is fully on his career. The my boys are doing much in the music industry. Asem is making waves. Nanaboro is on. Stage is blowing here and there. Our two beasts are coming up. Chris Wado is on. And Sakodie is dominating the VGMAs. Same year, Sakodie dropped Rapaholic album. And these songs make a complete dominance in the music charts. We have Sakodie in the field featured or Brafo. With this song, I don't have to tell you much on it. Then you have Faces of Life, which is my personal favorite till now, as well as when I grew up. With this song, you just have to listen to it if you have not. Then you have I'm in love with you now, featuring Ifia. This song is just one of his, the greatest songs Sakode personally will love or will mention whenever he has been asked. He should make, either he should mention five of his best songs he have ever had. I'm sure Sakode will mention I'm in love with you now, featuring Ifia. Then you have Friends of Friends, featuring Jesu. With this song, go check it out if you don't have not listened to it or have not heard it. And the last song that make this album blue was You Go Kill Me. Look, if you know, then you know this give birth to Azonto. This makes Azonto blue. Sakode having ear on this track give birth to another hardcore rapper and that was EL but I'm not there yet let's talk about Azone 2 with the complete domination of this song everybody started to do this kind of songs 
Azonto was everywhere around 2012, 2013. Almost everybody loved it. Every musician started doing the same thing. Gasmela was also here. I mean, Gasmela was also here, Sam. Fuse and Tiffany spears their heads up with an Azonto song that went international. Samini jumps on Azonto beat. Whiskey jumps on Azonto beat. Then we have P Square, who changed it to a lingo, but the original name is, is Azonto. So P Square also jumped on Azonto beat. But with P Square changing the name to Azonto, it became a huge talk of the town that Nigerians are trying to change the name from Azonto to a lingo. But to me, no. I just feel the Nigerians didn't want to left out at that time. So they also wanted to create something from what we have at that moment. Then back to Sarkozy, with his domination in the music industry, he was nominated at the BET Awards. He wasn't the first artist to be nominated though. At that time, D Black have already been nominated at the BET. So although D Black was the first that got nominated, he never won the award. So in 2012, Sarkozy went back for it and he became the first Ghanaian artist winning a BET award. I mean, winning a high standard music award. So with it, can you subscribe to the channel now? I'm ending the part one here. Watch out for the part two. Follow me on Spotify, on Audio Mac, on TikTok, and on Facebook. See you on the part two of the arrival or the dominance of Sarkozy in the music industry.